What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevozilla and I'm back with another straight pack video. Nothing about Zen here, boys, but I appreciate you guys for stopping by nonetheless. Be sure your way out to so drop that like button. And if you're sticking around just because you love your boy, appreciate you for the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you guys. Now, we finally got some new. Finally for the straight pack. I mean, it's not, and I already checked it out. I'm pretty sure tons of you guys already checked it out yourselves. Let's get into it real quick. It's right here in the second slot. The Call of Duty Vanguard base game pack. They're calling it the base. Now, I'm explaining why. It's because they don't have any, you know, specific weapon. No weapon profiles. No list. I mean, there is a list, but it's not what you expect. Um, we have a loadout selector, but it's not. It doesn't have any, you know, weapon AI features. No dedicated, you know, web profile stuff like that for each weapon. We just got the basic rapid fire, regular fire stuff like that. So what I compared this game pack to is the actual advanced shooter game pack. But I went ahead and chucked it because this is probably gonna be the next best thing, obviously, because this is kind of sort of like the advanced shooter game pack, but it's made for Vanguard. We got something now. Without further ado, instead of me rambling along, let's get straight into it. Boom. I already went over, like I said before recording, just to check it out, make sure everything's all right, and put my settings, you know, set my settings there and save it before your boy forgets and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go through it with you guys, and now I'm going to jump into a game at the end real quick because this game pack is a little different as far as setting up your values and adjusting the answer recoil. It's very, it's very important that you guys um, stick around and watch how to do it because it's different. This ain't your typical just ADS shooting down a deep pad. It's a little different um, this time around with this game pack, all right? So stick around and watch this video through and through. All right, guys. Now, you already know up here, you guys already know what to do. Matching games. So I can't tell you what to do here in the orange. It's totally up to you the way you play. Match your play style, your button layout, stick layout, and invert if you play invert and you're a god. All right. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to break down everything in entirety. All right. I'm not going to make this a short video. So kick back, relax. I got you guys. Paddle button number one. This is going to be the left paddle. Talking about the Dominator, not the Eliminator here. We got the Dominator. So on the Dominator, the left paddle is going to be paddle number one. I have it disabled, all right? I have it disabled. It's just my play style. But check this check this out, guys. Look, it got all your typical paddle mods, you know, like, you know, burst, rapid, uh, drop shot, hop shot, yeah, spring shot. But then they added a few new things. Turbo. We got turbo mods. Now, I got this set to my right paddle. And I'm explaining that momentarily once I get to my right paddle. We got two turbos, turbo mapped button and then turbo modifier. We got toggle bunny hop, which bunny hop is good, but it says toggle bunny hop. That means that you got to like press the paddle to activate it, press it again to deactivate it. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the wave. I don't think that's the way to go. Thus, why I have on my right paddle, I got turbo map button. This pretty much going to whatever button you got mapped to that paddle, you just press it down and it's going to spam that button, which is very, very good. Like I said, this game pack might be the next best thing for stripe pack to use. Instead of advanced shooter game pack, right? We also got a few others. We got toggle, circle, strafe, the bunny hop, like I said, rapid crouch, toggle, strafe, alt activator, and toggle mods, right? Now, if you guys want me to break down in a separate video, you know, anything in specific as far as the game pack is concerned, like other mods and other things that you guys are not familiar with, do let me know in the comment section down below. I just don't want to make this video too, too long, right? Just breaking it down for you guys, setting you guys up and use this game pack at your own free will with your own settings and try out things on your own, right? Now, moving on. Paddle mod number two, right? We also got button three by four, but these are pretty much for the eliminator, right? I don't really use the eliminator much, but for these two buttons, three and four, it's the same thing. So you can have all four having all kinds of different mods if you wish, right? But I'm only going over the two paddles. So my second paddle, which is on the right, is going to be my turbo map because that's what I got for jump. And it's like, a, you know, it's like bunny hop pretty much. I'd rather have it turbo. It's like that. Whatever button I map to that paddle, it'll be turbo. Once I hold it down, the strike pack is going to automatically spam it, which is pretty dope. That's that's really cool that they did that. I like that. That's a huge W. Huge W. All right. Global mods. Here's another thing I want you, uh, I want to explain to you guys. We got disabled, obviously. Then we got auto hold breath, block rumble, block the game rumble, rapid melee, which I highly recommend you don't use, and slide cancel. Right, all shortened right here. So we're gonna use three of them out of this list. We're gonna use auto hold breath, which is A H B, block rumble, which is B R, and slide cancel, which is S C. Look for these three on the list. Boom, I did it for you. It's right here. A A H B, B R, and S C. All right, head triggers. We we already know what those are. Both triggers. All right, moving on. Active aim mod, aim assist. All right, you want aim assist right here. Aim mod activation, N E A D S. All right, this is all for the aim assist. 
Amos Hiss and Tessie, leave it at 15. 15, we already know. We've been around the ballpark. 15 is the best. All right, spot on. Leave it at 15, guys. Trust me. We already know that that's a magical number right there, baby. That's a magical number. You know what I mean? But anyway, moving on. Active shot mod disabled. Ah, you already know how I feel about all this. So skipping this. Same old, same old from the other game packs. Answer your recall mode. This is a little different this time around, like I said. And I'm going to jump into a game real quick. And I'm going to show you guys how to go about getting your values with this game pack. All right, it's a bit different. You got anti recoil, then ADS anti recoil. All right, you're going to want ADS anti recoil. Okay, keep this like this. All right, keep it like this. Trust me. Weapon swap mode, manual, because this is multi multiplayer. All right, so manual all day for me. If you want, you can leave automatic. You guys already know what that is. Just if you have a secondary, you press triangle, it just swaps to your next weapon profile pretty much. But I just like manual. Active loadout. You just select it here, um, and it automatically um, starts you off at whatever loadout you wanna you wanna start off with. You can always switch that in game. I'll, I'll be sure to leave the manual to this game pack in the description down below as well, guys. So don't worry. If, if in case you you want more information and just now on my video, you can read about it too. I know the manuals can be quite confusing sometimes, but like I said before earlier, if you guys want me to go over anything in particular with this game pack, let me know, and I got you guys in future videos. All right? But this is pretty much. It's all copy and paste pretty much. This is almost identical to the advanced shooter game pack, like I said. The only difference is the way you go about adjusting and getting your uh, recoil, your values, which I'm explain momentarily. All right. Any fire, rapid fire, no delay. So bring that all the way down. I like my, my stuff to be as fast as possible, right? Rapid burst, I'm leaving this as is. Quick scope time, leaving it as is. If any of you guys snipe, if this is your thing, you can mess with this. It's not my cup of tea. Loadout one. Here we go with the loadout. So boom, we should have four, right? Green, red, green, red, green, red. So green indicating primary weapon and a red indicating secondary. You can see it right here. Each one has its own recoil value. So with this game pack, we're able to control both vertical horizontal. I don't know why horizontal is first. Vertical should be here. Horizontal should be here. Be here. Anyway, uh, we got horizontal and vertical both. So it's pretty dope, right? Pretty dope. And if you're secondary, if you're rocking a pistol, whatever have you, you can do the same thing, right? So we got four different weapon loadouts. Which is pretty dope. Which is pretty dope. I mean, me personally, honestly, for multiplayer, I'm most likely only going to be rocking and touching the first one or the first two, my primary and secondary, pretty much, because I'm going to be working on, you know, camos and, un you know, unlocking attachments and stuff like that. So, um, too much is not necessary for me. But if here's your thing, if that's your thing, and you want to max out everything and have, you know, all, all everything filled up, then here you go. You got four different loadouts, each with a primary and secondary. All right. So set your game pack up just like this. Set it up just like this, guys. Best settings right here, period. Trust me, period. All right? Now, I'm going to save it. You guys should save it too. You hear that? Save it again. Save slots to the device. Now, I'm going to bring you guys to the actual um, game, going to the custom games. Just messing around probably with the STG and stuff like that because I want to show you guys how to go about actually getting values and using the anti-recoil because it's different. All right, guys. Now that I'm here and I'm in the... Custom games, flip the stripe pack over, press and hold the small left black button back stripe pack, press the right paddle, first slide, it's not what I want, that's my Warzone game pack, I'm going to press it again to go over to, to the second one, but it's a little weird this time around, because the second one doesn't seem to light up as bright as the first, but the LED light on the controller is actually a brighter green, so if I swap back to my Warzone game pack, you can see the light gets dimmer, like it gets darker, that's my Warzone game pack, second slot is supposed to be this base game pack which is a lighter green. Okay, I guess that's how it works. I'm guessing it has you know something to do with the uh, loadout selector, which I'll get to later on in the video. But first, let's, uh, let's go over this game pack real quick. So the slide cancel, amazing. Don't need to complain, can't complain about it. It's uh, phenomenal, it's pretty good. See, it doesn't stand back up. It seems to work perfectly fine. It's good to go, pretty good, pretty solid, all right? Slide canceling works phenomenal with this game pack, all right? Now next is the right paddle. As you saw, I have the turbo, um, the turbo uh, mappable button for my right paddle. So any button, pretty much, I map to this right paddle. If I press down on it and just hold it, it's going to spam that button. See, so pretty much like a like a bunny hop. See that? And then let's say I map my right paddle to circle. So I press and hold the right um, black button back in strike pack, and I press circle. Now my right paddle is going to spam crouch because I swapped this to circle. See, guys, pretty dope. That's the reason why I prefer having the turbo instead of anything else. So one paddle could be for turbo. The other paddle, disabled. Let me swap it back to X. And when I press down on it, 
He's bunny hopping. Bunny hopping. <laughs> it's pretty dope, pretty dope. All right, now let's let's get into uh the the main course, the main reason why I'm here, and I'm showing you guys. Dancey recoil. It's a bit different this time around. What you're gonna want to do is obviously go to a nice clean wall. Same old, same old. A wall that's clean so like that you can see your shots and stuff. ADS and just empty out a mag. But first, let me show you. The same exact STG um that I've been using even in my previous video. Same exact attachments, all right? Let's empty out a magazine, see where the recoil goes. All right, it looks like it just starts to climb straight up. You see that? It starts to climb. So you don't ADS R2 and down D-pad. We don't do that this time. This time you gotta press and hold the touch pad, then press and hold R3, the right stick. Let them go when you start feeling the pulsating. The, <laughs> it's vibrating, but it's like pulsing. Then with the directional buttons, up is gonna bring the recoil up, down is gonna bring it down, left is gonna bring it left, right is gonna bring it right. Let's bring it down since all we saw it, it went up, let's bring it down. Let's say, Couple times. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also hold down on the button, which will decrease it as well. But I don't I don't recommend that. Me personally, I'd rather just press it and feel each individual um, vibrate. And then to lock it in to save it whenever you feel comfortable. R3, and then that's it. It's gonna hard vibrate and you're good to go. Now let's test out the recoil now. Wow, oh, there you go. It's pretty solid. All right. Now bring it. It went down a little too much, so let's let's do it again. Let's do it again. Press the whole touchpad. R three. Now it was going down a little too much, so let's go up. Let's say one, two, three. Let's say four. All right, and then lock it in. Now let's test again right here. That's perfect. That looks good. See, now that's a beam, guys. See, it's a, it's a bit different this time around, but it's still easy. You guys will get the hang of it once you start doing it a couple of times. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty monstrous, eh? Monstrous. Look at that. A beam. A beam. It went down a little bit at the end. Maybe I could bring it up one more time, but I don't want to mess that up. That looks pretty good, but let's, let's do it anyway. Touchpad R3. Up one more time. Click R3 to save. Now it sets out this time. Nope. It looks good. Kind of looks the same. I mean, I brought up a little bit one, but it still looks the same. That's this right here. Yeah, pretty good. Look, actually, that looks a little better. That looks a little better. Eh, it's still the same, but still, look at that. No recoil whatsoever. Pretty good, guys. Oh, yeah, and I got manual swap, so you will have to press touchpad. Press hold touchpad, press circle, swap red, and secondary triangle is green. Which brings me to the loadout selector mod. Now, loadout selector is a bit different this time around. <laughs> I keep saying it's a lot, it's a lot different this time around with this game pack. But especially when you know the anti recoil is one thing that's different. Now the loadout selector is another. You know how usually in the past we were used to with the Warzone touchpad and L2, or you know, if you're on Zen, whatever it's touchpad L1, whatever, right? No, it's different this time around. Now, you got to press the whole touchpad. Same thing with the touchpad. Press the whole touchpad, but you press L2. And you got to be looking at the LED lights on top of the straight pack. So, we got four on the left side, four on the right side. Two, four, six, eight. So, we have, these are the profiles. So, the first two, start from the left, is primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, okay? All right, it's going to be two, four, six, eight. It's going to be primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. Press and hold touchpad and press L2. You can see it skipped the second one and it went to the second to last. So that's the primary. See? Primary for the secondary um profile, primary for the third profile, and primary for the fourth. And let's say starting from the left side, the very first LED light is the primary. Is your primary? See the light is green. Since I'm manual, I will have to press the whole touchpad, press circle to swap to my secondary. Now we'll swap to my secondary. If you're automatic, once you press triangle, you see the light change from green to red, right? And also, see up here? First light is lit up, my primary. If I press the whole touchpad and press circle, look what happened. The very next LED light is lit up. And if I press the whole touchpad, press triangle, it goes back to my primary. So these are your loadouts up here, right? First two is your first um, profile. And then second is your second, um, your second loadout, so first loadout, second loadout, third loadout, and fourth loadout, okay? Primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary, primary, secondary. I know it's kind of it's kind of like, what the heck, you know, it, because we're not used to it, but um, it's simple. It's simple enough, and once you do it a few times and start using it, you get the hang of it. 
All right. Again, so that's pressing and holding the touchpad and pressing L2. You see, it goes to each primary. Boom, boom, boom. You can also use R2 as well. See, oh, you can see it. You can also use R2 as well. All right. And that's it. Press the whole touchpad again. L2 to go to your profiles. I showed you guys how to go about adjusting the anti-recoil. You can adjust both up, down, left, and right. Now I'm going to plug her back into the PC. I'm going to unplug it and plug the stripe pack back into the PC to show you guys that the value, whatever value this is, saved and stuck to the first weapon profile, to your first loadout, all right? Check it. All right, you guys, so here we are. The Call of Duty Vanguard base game pack right here on strike pack. Boom. Loadout one, primary weapon. Your first loadout, primary weapon, first weapon profile. Primary anti-recoil horizontal. I did adjust it right before I cut um, the video and before I brought you guys here. I did adjust the horizontal to make it the best that I could for you guys. And I adjusted it a bit. It didn't make a huge difference, but I did adjust it a bit. So we got a negative three for the horizontal and a 28 for the vertical. So from here on out, expect my videos now, as far as the strike pack is concerned, to be using this game pack. This game pack seems to be spot on. Spot on, guys. It's a bit different, I know. But it's good. It's a good game pack. This video helped you out. You guys already know what to do. Smash that like button and I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace out and stay safe.